Hi Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you who have a strong soul connection with someone. So they could be your soulmate or twin flame. You're in separation from them right now. So we're going to look at your person's energy and your energy. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed. Although this is dated May 2022, it could resonate for whenever you come across this reading. These readings are timeless. But remember they're general as well, so they won't resonate with all of you. Take what's yours and need the rest. I'm going to start with your energy. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, quite a reflective energy at the moment for some of you. Yeah, lo lots of thinking. Okay, so right in the middle we've got the world, which is showing a completion of a chapter, shedding old skin, the snake here. And this is a successful completion, I feel, because the first card out was the Six of Wands, which shows victory, happiness, abundance, recognition for some of you. Yeah, a lot of thinking, because we've got a lot of swords that's come out, and that's what I was feeling. So for some of you, um, it could be that this end of a chapter is an end to that thinking, especially negative thinking, or focused on someone who did you wrong, lied to you, for example. For some of you who've been learning about this, um, you know, in terms of like how to forgive and release. Also, some of you are learning about how to manifest like the law of attraction. And then we've got a newness coming out in your energy here. So this is, you know, this is like you here with your heart on fire, ready to go out there and start this new chapter. Maybe it's a new project, job. I'm really feeling some of you have been through a spiritual rebirth actually as well. Big shift with, yeah, with shedding the old skin. And you've definitely got a lot of communication on the way two pages and a night. So not only you speaking your truth, but there's someone here who's, I feel they're watching you, and then this is them coming in to speak their truth. With the two butterflies, it's showing you've both been through a shift here, ended a chapter, and aligned. Um, you've got the Empress, Yeah, it's the same sort of thing I was just saying. You've been healing, cutting things out, people, thoughts, really getting thoughts, thinking again, regret, you know, focus on the past, cutting all of that out and manifesting. Yeah, see so here's the law of attraction, knowing you can manifest whatever you desire. It could be the Empress. You know, who's on your mind, Divine Feminine. Or this could be your own inner Divine Feminine. You're blooming, growing, transforming, as we've had come out. Um, strongly getting twin flames with these two. I feel you and your person are both 
manifesting, doing very well at the moment. So we've got Libra Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Libra, you could have that in your chart, or it could be your person. Let's see your person's energy. Okay, so we've got the chariot, same sort of energy as we had with the Six of Wands, showing success, achievement. Your person's been through a lot. They've been on a very spiritual journey, inward journey, and they're sort of coming out of that now, wanting to move forward. Now that's coming out in these cards. Um, Two fives, first of all. So when they've been on this inward journey, they've been focused on what they've lost. In particular, they might have been having memories of things or people they've lost. Feeling quite alone. Feeling regret. Um, spiritual lessons. Definitely, that your person has been going through. They could have been in a relationship, or they could be in a relationship, a marriage, but I feel they want to move on from that, the Six of Swords. Because during this reflection, they're thinking about where they're at as well, you know, and whether they want to be there. I feel they're doing very well financially they might have had some worries but I'm, I'm seeing that if they move on in particular I feel that um, they're successful so we've got Taurus there um, So I said use another deck to clarify this energy. Wow, another five. Five, five, five. So strong message here of positive changes, positive movement forward. This is a higher level commitment between you and this person. The Hierophant. You could be connecting in the 5D um, and you've aligned in the 5D, I'm feeling. Let's get one on the Hierophant. Wow. Yeah, spirits agreeing <laughs> with the ace. The way that flew out, wow. Um, yeah, there's a lot of passion between you both. That's what I'm getting there. They keep making me do this, and it's like that's kind of what this Pope's doing, you know, he's like blessing you both. Um, so you're both blessed. There's the Knight of Swords there. Yeah, your person wants to reach out to you after they go through this ending of something that's been quite long term, potentially. They want to apologise. Let's have a look at the Six of Swords. Yeah, they move towards happiness, joy, healing. Wow. Ace of Pentacles as well with the sum. See, that's what I mean about the abundance that I'm seeing your person moves on to. 
commitment as well. An offer of commitment to you. Wow, Leo energy. I just got shivers there. Because um, I feel your person is being guided. This is the divine offering this gift. If your person moves on. Okay, let's see um, the Knight of Swords for you. I'm also feeling you could both be very abundant together. Knight of Swords gets the King of Swords. So a lot of air, potentially, in this person's chart. Someone who um, uses their head over their heart. They think this through. Mature energy, wow. Ace of Cups, divine love. You both got an ace. And there's an ace here, three aces. This is a very lucky reading. Sagittarius, and here's your energy. Yeah, your wishes will be fulfilled. Alignment here. You're both protected and being guided together. I feel with the angel. This is showing a resurgence of a relationship. Forgiveness. Apology. Beautiful. Wow, and the messages came out so quickly there. So I feel this is speeding up. With the Knight of Swords, this could be quite soon for some of you. Within a few weeks, potentially. Could be over the summer as well. I'm feeling at the moment this shift is happening in the 5D. Maybe in your dreams you're feeling it. Let us know in the comments if that resonates. So with the three aces... Um, we need to do an extended for this reading because I think we might get some more amazing messages in that reading, synchronicities potentially. Um, that's 111, which is showing a new possibility, manifestation. Wow. Okay, so in that reading we'll look at your person's next steps, how they feel about you, the energy of this connection, blocks, the likely outcome. Um, and some advice from spirit. For those of you not going on to that reading, I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So, first of all, some healing is potentially needed time you know taking time out from the world to you know recalibrate um, and then we've got clear endeavor your person is going to be very clear on what they want to do with the ace there definitely um, and come out of the cold. So it's interesting they've got the five of pentacles, which is that sort of energy. So they might be feeling, as I said, very sort of left out in terms of the world. But the divine has their back and they move, they're going to move, turn around and move towards this blessing. And be very clear on how they move towards you as well. Wow, I've just noticed here, I've never noticed this in the card, there's two geese, yeah, um, they're facing each other there, so reunion, there. two geese coming together, um, geese are a symbol of twin flames, they mate for life, so this is an infinite love. 
Beautiful, Sagittarius. Really powerful reading, so claim it if this is yours. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe. Sending lots of love to you all.